Hi everyone, for today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a quick review on this HP NB desktop that I purchased from Costco. This is actually listed for $15.99, but they recently have it on sale for $999. So this particular computer have a 12th generation Intel Core i7 processor. This is the 12700 model, not the K, not the F, or the KF. So this thing actually comes with a built-in uh, Intel UHD graphic and also they have added an extra NVIDIA 360 Ti graphic card for this. So this computer also have a 32 gigabyte DDR4, um, 3200 megahertz SD RAM. It comes with one terabyte 7200 RPM SATA drive, 512 gigabyte M2 PCIe card, Comes with Windows 11 Home Edition. It comes with a Wi-Fi 6 uh, with a gigabit connection and a Bluetooth 5.2. It also comes with a 1 gigabit Ethernet LAN port. Comes with 5.1 surround sound uh, audio. And it comes with a wireless USB keyboard and mouse combination. I was actually planning to build one for myself, but since they put this for $999, this is actually a lot cheaper compared to me building one for myself because I priced everything that is in here right now. It's going to cost me $1,244 to do it, but this one I got it for only $999. So before we get started, I just want to ask you a favor. Hopefully you can help me out by clicking the subscribe button. And also, if you like the information on this video at the end, Please make sure to click the like and comment down below. Okay, so the box basically just looked like this. And the box is about 12 inch by 19 inch by 22 and a half inch high. So when you open the box, you'll have the quick start guide. It'll also come with a power table right here is your keyboard and mouse it comes with a very small keyboard so this is a thin one right here okay and also have this mouse right here so this our wireless keyboard and mouse and it comes with the battery as well there's four AAA battery and you have the USB wireless connector okay and this is how it basically looks like when you take it out of the box. So you can see right now it has a nice color to it. It's like a gray or silver color. And the front is just plain one. You have some holes to the side for the airflow. And right here you just have the NB logo. And so let's go ahead and check the ports in the back. Okay, so let's start at the bottom. You'll see that you have the power supply placed at the bottom of the case. And if you look up here, you have one, two, three open slots. And you have the video ports here. You have one HDMI and you have three display ports right here. So if you go a little higher, you'll see that you have a microphone jack right here. This is the pink one. And the green one is your speaker out or for your headphone as well. And then here you'll have a combination jack. And then over here, you'll have two USB 2.0 type A connector. And then you have one RJ45. So this is a gigabit um, RJ45 connector. So this small port right here below the two type A USB connector is actually your Thunderbolt 4, which is a USB 4 type C connector. The next one is your... USB type C super speed and that's actually labeled USB 5 so that's 5 gigabits per second go down here you're gonna see another USB type A but if you look closely at the logos the first one is a USB 10 and this one is a 5 so this one here is faster as it can give you 10 gigabits per second transfer rate this one is 5 gigabits per second this last USB C here is 10 gigabits per second and then you have an extra fan on the top 
you have the internal access button and when you press this it actually opens the case for you so let's do go ahead and do that and remove the case so we can see what's inside the computer okay so now that we have the case open let's go ahead and look at the components inside it we're going to start from the bottom and go up okay so the first thing you'll see here is your power supply this is actually made by cooler master and this have a maximum power of 600 watts so if you look just to the right is an extra fan so you have a fan to the front of your pc okay and let's start going up the next thing you'll see here is your ge force rtx video card so this motherboard only comes with one pcie slot and it's already being used by your video card so you cannot add any more pcie card in this board so if you're looking for upgrading this is not the computer for you now if you look a little higher you'll see right here you'll have the western digital and dme2 ssd card this is the western digital sn530 and it have a speed of 2400 megabytes per second go a little higher now you'll see there's another fan right here this is the one the this is the fan to the back of your computer and then right here you'll see the big fan right here this is actually your cpu cooler and of course under this big cooler is your cpu and right here you have two memory sticks this memory stick is 16 gigabyte each and it's made by kingston right here is an extra hard drive so this is a regular hard drive and uh, the nice thing about this is you can easily replace this so you can unplug this let's go ahead and unplug this and unplug this thing as well and just remove this thing so you can actually see your hard drive right here I'm just covering my serial number okay but to replace it basically just unscrew it from here and here and put a new drive in and basically you just want to put it back inside and put your cable back in okay so after looking inside the computer these are the things that we've learned right now number one is there's only one SATA port and that is already being used by your hard drive and also there's only one NVMe2 connector and that's already being used by your main drive so there is no more room for expansion for your storage devices your only option will be to get an external storage device or replace this or replace the main one with a larger hard drive another option that you might do is getting a SATA multiplier but I think when you get a SATA multiplier, it actually slows down your hard drive speed. So instead of doing that, I would recommend just getting an external uh, storage device if you want. Okay. Now for your memory, you have four slots right here. Two is taken. And according to HP, each slot can actually accommodate 32 gigabytes of stick. So you can have up to a total of 128 gigabytes if you replace this with four 32 gigabyte sticks and finally we've learned that there's only one pcie slots available that's already been taken by your video card so if you are somebody who's looking for more pcie ports then this is not for you okay your memory you can always upgrade it for your hard drive you can replace what's in here to get a larger storage or you can get an external storage but you cannot add any more internal storage if you don't want to remove any of this too right here so to return the cover all you have to do is go like this and push it okay so let's go ahead and check the ports on the top okay so first is you have a microphone right here and then this one is actually a microphone headphone combination jack so you can use this just one port for your uh, headphone with built-in microphone right here is your media port so you can put your SSD card right here 
this is your power button so you have your USB-C port right here and then you have three USB type A port right here and these are all USB 5 so it's gonna give you 5 gigabits uh, transfer rate okay so that's about it I hope that you found this video helpful and please make sure to click the like and the subscribe button to help my channel and thank you for watching